Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Imani and I love all things planner and self-care related. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss new content. In today's video, we're going to flip through the month of July because, I mean, we're already halfway through. I think it's like the 20th or the 21st today. I haven't checked the calendar yet, but it is basically the middle of July, so we'll flip through our July spreads. And we'll just, you know, provide a little update, talk about Toronto, talk about what's coming up next week, because a lot of my planning has been related to, you know, what's going on um, in the next few weeks of July and August as well. So I'm super excited. You know what? Let's get started. <laughs> So I actually want to start with this notebook here. So you have seen this notebook on some of my social channels. Again, this is the notebook that I bought from Toronto and I love it so far. It does have perforated pages, but I haven't torn anything out. I really have just been using this as kind of my like affirmations planner. Like I'll write a quick to-do list in here. I had to take a few personal calls and to be honest with you, I was like, scribbling down the information so I'll show that page as well because I think it's a good idea of showing that like sometimes planning is not always super neat um especially when I'm on the call taking notes right like because I'm not trying to write for myself I'm just trying to write down the information especially because that person called me during work so let's take a look okay so here's the first page I still haven't written in this page and to be honest with y'all this is like a smooth cardboard. So if I were to write with pen, it would smear. So I think I'm gonna need a permanent marker. Oh gosh, got some pen over there, but I think I'm gonna need a permanent marker if I ever want to write my name and contact information, which this stays at home with me. It stays next to my desk. Again, because I used it for that phone call. So I don't think that I would need this for I don't think I would need the name and contact. Let me know in the contact in the comments below if you have a space to put your name and contact information for a planner that stays at home. Do you fill it out? I don't know. See, I take my half letter with me sometimes, right? So I'll fill that out. I take um, some of my petite planners out with me, so that has my contact information. But hey, if this stays at home, I don't see a reason to do it. So as you can see, some affirmations, a quick to do list. more affirmations it's funny because sometimes I write affirmations as they come to me so I have to start over so for this one I was saying I have everything I need I'm blessed and grateful and I said you know what that didn't fit right with me so I started over and I just wrote that I'm so blessed and grateful and I continued after that because this just felt more real to me at the time so you know I and I always tell people when you're writing affirmations start with I am sentences right and then don't be afraid to start over or you know that's still a really great affirmation that I can use at a different time but this one resonated with me so okay let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you so sometimes I get words stuck in my head and it may be from a phone call or maybe even something that I read and sometimes writing it out helps me get the word out of my head. So that's part of what explains what you're about to see. Also, um, I'm moving in a couple weeks, right? So I took a few phone calls in the middle of the workday, unfortunately, because that's when they called me back, but they were giving me quotes and estimates. So I just pulled the nearest notebook I had. I know I needed a notebook and not a sticky note just to write down, you know, some of the basic information and, and think about, you know, what I have to do and the information I need to know to get back to them. So, oh, look at this, y'all. Okay, so clearly the word summary was stuck in my head, but this looks a hot mess, right? Like it's not meant to be my neatest handwriting, but let me explain what you see here. So this was me blocking out the addresses that I needed to tell the companies about you know where I'm moving from and where I'm moving to and this is a really helpful tool so here is this um, I call it like a privacy stamp because you roll over private information and then you can't see the private information so I got this off Amazon and if you're interested you should definitely check it out 
I will say it doesn't have the most pleasant smell when it's still damp, but after it dries, which is super quick, right? You can't smell anything. So I use this, I use this when I'm just like needing to throw out mail, like junk mail and everything, and I wanna cross out my name and address. This is really helpful, but then it came in use. It was useful here too, because I needed to cross out some private information. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely check it out. It's in my Amazon storefront, but I'll also link it below. So I love this notebook flip through that I did because I feel like it's an accurate representation of what planning has been like for me the past couple days and honestly like a week. It has been so just chaotic, very much so grab an insert, grab a sticky note, write what you need and move on. So when I flip through my half letter, you'll see that it hasn't been a heavy like weekly planning, everyday pull out the planner type of um, life at the moment. It's been very much so like plan as you go, figure things out do what you need to do to just get the plants out of your head and on a paper or even a notion because notion has been super um helpful for me lately and then you know move on so let's flip through the half letter okay so i just learned that today is the 22nd <laughs> i have not been um crossing the dates off as the time goes on and i just think that speaks to how much i have been sitting down to plan every single day or if I do sit down, it's more so jotting a quick to-do list on Notion, like I mentioned, but also there's that Google Chrome extension called Momentum that's super helpful for me because I use Google Chrome a lot. I'll link it below as well, but for me, that has been super helpful for making a to-do list for the day too. So I don't think I'm becoming like a digital planner girly, but to be honest with you, it's like do what you need to do to survive for the day type of lifestyle at the moment. So let me take a few moments to update this. Okay, so we've been having a really good conversation the past couple of days about how do you show canceled plans in your planner. So for me, I don't have any stickers or anything like that, even though back in the day I used to use Planner Kate stickers because I loved her handwriting. And it was really helpful for me to just place the sticker if something was canceled. But here I just kind of use a key system. I cross things out if it is completed. Sometimes if I'm in the middle of something, if it requires like a couple processes or a couple steps, as y'all know, I'll like check mark it off and then cross it off. But the squiggle line means canceled. So not many updates on my monthly spread. I just crossed out Tampa again and added some of the dates for New York City and Boston. I think I have a nail appointment at five o'clock on the 25th. So let me write the 25th here, even though I think this was a nail appointment for the 11th, but I'll write the 25th there as well. I usually keep these inserts paper clipped. I don't know if you can see the paper clips over here on the side when I took those off. So yeah, this is that first week leading up to the Beyonce concert. I did no actual paper planning. That's how wild the past few weeks have been. It's been a lot of like, okay, we're moving. Let's get a prime list together. Let's get our trip itineraries together. Let's pack. If work was busy, I was not opening this planner. So no plans for the first week. The second week I jumped back into the planner, it just wasn't something that I kept updated, even though a lot of this stuff got completed because I did it on Notion or Google Chrome. So this was an insert that I used just for the day because I couldn't find my daily inserts and I know I still have some. So what I did instead was just pulled out a line sheet and wrote my to-do list for the day. And that was for July 12th. So some things got completed and crossed off, others definitely did not, <laughs> definitely did not. Okay, 
and here is the current week y'all as you can see nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing i did not plan anything in this planner for the week except for thursday july 20th i wanted to just get back into paper and get back into the habit of sitting and opening my planner every morning so i used another lined insert for the 20th and then i did what i usually do just pull out a sticky note write a quick to-do list and place it on the days that i want to start completing something so this was actually not from the 18th and the 19th it was more so 19th 20th 21st but as you can see i still have some things to do so that will stay there okay so here is the current or upcoming week so let's pull this out and get to planning I love how I bought all those highlighters in Toronto and I'm barely using any of them because beige has such a chuck hold on me. But per usual, we're going to highlight the headings and the events, meetings that are taking place. I'm actually gonna do something different for the weekend, but I wanted to get sort of the standard status quo stuff out the way. So let me write a quick to-do list and get that highlighted on the priority items and then we'll talk about what I'm going to do for the weekend. Okay, so as you can see, I almost highlighted everything on this to-do list, honestly, but I had to be real with myself, like every single thing is not important, but I really do want to make an effort to accomplish every single thing on this list this week because honestly, everything is kind of important. I want to reschedule my doctor's appointment. I need to make a phone call. I want to finalize the movers. I don't want to wait until I get back from the trip to do that and just, you know, make a few purchases, finalize Boston. So my goal, Hold me accountable, y'all. My goal is to accomplish every single thing on this to-do list this week. So if I don't, please call me out. <laughs> please call me out. So I did forget to highlight the week here on the calendar. And I want to write a quick affirmation up there. Okay, there's a lot going on in the sense that it's a lot in the front, <laughs> just getting ready for the trip because I do leave on the 27th. So I don't know what that was. So what I'm gonna do instead of writing out my entire itinerary, honestly, I kind of just wanna write New York City and Boston. So I do this often in my work planner when I have PTO, I'll just write PTO in big letters and then I'll show you how I kind of make it cute. It's really simple though. So I've seen people do this before.
Okay, so that turned out a little, a little wonky. Not gonna lie, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think that's a W and that is definitely not a Y. I would consider that to be a J, but you know what? And that's not an R. That's not an R, that, that's a U. <laughs> um, I, so I very clearly messed up, but it is what it is. We're gonna leave it as is. I just didn't run and write my itinerary down here, but again, it's just meant to symbolize like, hey, like that's a trip. It's not gonna be a planning day with me, to be honest with you. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna take my planner with me. I might take like a petite planner or I might take the half letter. We'll see. Again, a lot of my itinerary and plans are in Notion, right? So I'm taking my iPad, so I might as well just not take a planner. But let me know in the comments below, do you take your planner on vacation with you? I just feel like sometimes it's extra space, so I think it makes more sense to have all my plans, my itinerary, and be able to reference it there. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about some of the products I've used, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.